shall prove to the world that genius is colorblind. We shall help our boys and girls to know that it is not the color of a balloon that determines how high it can fly, but what it has inside of it. In the beginning. That was 42 years ago when Reverend Leon H. Sullivan opened up the first OIC training site at 19th and Oxford Streets in North Central Philadelphia. And from that modest beginning in the old abandoned jailhouse, OIC has grown into a national and international education, training, and supportive services model. And since our inception, OIC has served over three million people worldwide with OICs in South Africa, Poland, Great Britain, and the Caribbean. And in Philadelphia, that number is 65,000 people and growing. And where are we now, 42 years later? Follow me and I'll show you. Hi, I'm Ditty Guys, Chief Operating Officer of the Pennsylvania Convention Center. OIC has had a contract for over 14 years with the Convention Center providing hospitality training to individuals for all the restaurants, hotels, including the Convention Center. With the coming of expansion and casino, OIC's work will be needed more than ever. Okay, ladies, this is our simulation of uh, uh, front desk operations. The good thing about this system is that as soon as you type in the date, it's going to show you what rooms are available. Now you go ahead and put in all the information you need, the address of the guest, and uh, what address do we use normally? Unless it's a business trip, we use the personal address, right? And the whole time that you're putting this information in, remember what you're doing. You are also making eye contact with the guest. Paragy's going to be doing a uh, classic French, country French salad featuring frise greens. This salad serves beautiful as a, uh, actually, as a breakfast salad also, uh, featuring, you know, obviously some classic breakfast, American breakfast style accompaniments. We never want to overdress our greens. You want the salad greens themselves to stand out. I mean, the use of the hands is critical, so you have an actual feel for the food. Should I stuff it all? No, but I think that's fine. That looks nice. You don't want to. You don't want to uh, overdo it. And as you see, the assembly is quick and easy. Everything is prepped up ahead of time, as they say in France. And voila. <laughs> <laughs> have your flat sheet and your second sheet and a third sheet and your comforter. You put the flat sheet on the bed with miter in the corners at the top, nice and tight. Our second sheet is a polka dotted sheet, so we have to pay attention to detail. Again, keep that in mind. And since we have the polka dots on the sheets, we have to make sure the sheet is on backwards so the polka dots can be faced up. Good job. We're going to fold it twice, tuck it at the top, hospital corners at the bottom. We're going to put our comforter on last, pay attention to detail. Now we're going to put the pillows inside. There you go, nice and perky. And our throws. Good job. Hello, my name is Percy Davis. I'm chairman of the OIC Board of Directors. My introduction to OIC began when Reverend Sullivan inquired about starting a computer center. I was fortunate enough at that time to be working for IBM and thus the relationship began. The board is committed to Reverend Sullivan's legacy of helping people help themselves. So wherever that cursor is blinking, that's where you're going to put your answer. I'll hit the back arrow. Yeah, that clears it. Back or you can hit delete also. Either way, but whenever you want to put in a specific box, you just click on that box. Questions with this story? How many questions is it? Uh, let's see how many questions we have here. Hook up your common, your common hot first. You want your common hot first. 
Uh, you're coming from your, from your hot power source. Your hot power source. And this is office technology class. We do everything from filing, typing. Uh, some of our folks are doing actual financial work, which means basic accounting, bookkeeping. Our typists do letters, memos, reports. And then after they learn the keyboard, they transfer them over to the computer. Today, our students are going to do the damp mopping procedure. They have gathered their supplies and their equipment, which is the 20 inch buffer, the mop bucket, the wringer, the 18 inch mop, the dust pan, and the 18 inch dust mop. When you walk into a building, your first impression is a sparkling, clean, germ free floor. My name is Thomas Senior Cotton. I'm the president of OIC of America the national headquarters for OICs across the United States. I'd like to make a comment about the Philadelphia OIC. It is important for everybody to understand that the Philadelphia OIC is the prototype of all of our OICs. And we try to design our OICs across the United States by the prototype. It is the very first OIC. It will always be here to set the model for how OICs should operate. There we go. <laughs> Greetings, Robert. <laughs> well, the Howes family's had a long history with Leon Sullivan, the giant here in Philadelphia. And it goes back a long time. You remember he led a boycott of the firms here in Philadelphia because uh, there weren't enough Afro-Americans being hired. And then when he opened up these slots, he didn't, couldn't produce the uh, trained people to fill those slots, so he switched over into training, and he was expert at that. He would motivate the young people and then see that they got trained. And the family helped him with the very first training center at 19th and Oxford, the old jailhouse. The family has continued their support over the years, and the local OIC of Philadelphia is still doing a great job and I support that effort. I worked at the OIC in the late 60s and the early 70s and it was one of the most important experiences that I ever had. Without that experience, I don't believe that I would be the person that I am and I certainly would, have, would not have been the public servant that I've tried to be over the course of the last 27 years. Reverend Sullivan, Reverend Ritter and the leadership at the OIC were a huge and important uh, factor in my life. Some very important defining moments happened for me right at Broad and Girard in the OIC program. You can't understand the role of a public official if you've never had an opportunity to work with people of all kinds, of all ages, uh, and all economic backgrounds. For me, a most defining experience was my work at OIC right in North Philadelphia at Broad and Girard. The city of Philadelphia is going to have casinos. And just as the OIC was an important part of making our whole move into hospitality a success for people who live in neighborhoods, in order for casinos to come into the city and be successful and provide opportunities for people in neighborhoods, the Opportunities Industrialization Center ought to be a part of the training and I intend to see to it that that happens. Thank you for joining me. You have seen just a sample of where OIC is in 2006. Now, where are we going to be in 07 and going forward? We intend to work with Wireless Philadelphia to bring access to technology for our community. We intend to be the training provider for the casinos coming to Philadelphia and also to embark upon an initiative to get more youth into the manufacturing industry. In order for OIC to continue the legacy of Dr. Leon A. Sullivan of helping people help themselves, we still need your support. The corporate community, the philanthropic community, churches, and the community at large. Invest in OIC. It works so people can. <laughs>